Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the Phil Studio. Today is a great day because after a week of hard work, I finally managed to create a great gadget from scratch. I present to you the legendary Blue Crystal Microphone. For those who are wondering, what is the Blue Crystal Microphone? Well, it's made out of Rochelle Salt Crystal I harvested this month. And after some research, I finally managed to create something that looks and acts as a contact microphone. So to clear things out, uh, this is a piezo disc element made of ceramic. This is a contact microphone made of Rochelle Salt which are not the same thing. I'm sorry for the confusion for those who thought that the Rochelle salt will create a piezo disc like that. But the Rochelle salt crystal were popularized during the 30 and the 40 in the world of microphone when they discovered that the Rochelle crystal salt had a piezoelectric effect, which means that when they are deformed by pressure or vibration, they will produce an electric signal. This is when someone decided to create a microphone out of Rochelle salt crystal. But unfortunately, the engineer that designed this kind of microphone discovered that they were really intolerant to variation of temperature, which means high heat or the cold. Also, they are really sensitive to moist, uh, which means if you're speaking moistly, well, you have to wear your mask while singing into this Rochelle salt crystal microphone. That one was for the Canadian. So jokes apart, this is when the Rochelle salt microphone finally got replaced by the ceramic one and other kind of crystal. I can ensure you that this is not just a piezo hidden uh, in this uh, transparent silicone. This, it would be cheating. This is truly a Rochelle salt crystal microphone and I'm going to show you how it sounds on my guitar. Because it was a pain in the arse to manufacture this little gadget, I'm not going to show you right away how to create one, but I could do a reveal of how to make this work when I hit 2,000 subscribers. So it's time to share the love. And without any further delay, I'm going to plug this on my guitar. Let's go. Two things before I play. This is not the final design and the Rochelle Salt Crystal Microphone has a really high gain uh, around over 9000 infinite ohm uh, which means that you will have to crank up the gain of your amplifier or your recorder or your sound card but be careful when doing this because this can produce some really high voltage spark. Okay, so we're inside the software now and I'm in front of the Blue Crystal microphone track and here goes nothing. Okay, let's have a look at this. I'm a little, I'm a little bit stressed because uh, I don't know how it's gonna sound and I'm scared to be really, really, really not satisfied about this. Um, Let's go. What to say? What to say? Well, like, 
uh, uh, the, the volume, first of all, okay, I'll start with the volume. The volume is fairly low. Uh, this is one of the problems, but this is not really a problem because you can crank up the gain like usual. But by doing this, I'm really conscious that I'm bringing up the noise level pretty high. And the noise is really annoying. I think this is not uh, something that I could not correct because it looks like the the mic is not shielded properly all the way uh it's not squeezed enough uh but this is something like we can fix in the future because uh it's the blue crystal microphone so i'll have another uh, another take at with the new gain <laughs> Regardless of the noise, I think it sounds pretty full. Uh, I mean, um, I don't think we're missing some frequency or stuff. I'm gonna put up the uh, analyzer. Check this out. That's nice. It's uh, all free software I have, and I'm not sure I understand them all. But I'm looking for a spectrum analyzer, maybe. I'm gonna go with the oscilloscope and see. Like, oh no, this is not a spectrum analyzer. sounds so crispy like you can hear the crystal in, in, the, in the take in the, you can hear the crystal in the recording I like that with the denoiser it's better like with whatever. yeah it's way better but we're losing some of the crisp of the sound let's admit it I would not recommend anyone to record a studio album with the Blue Crystal microphone, but I would recommend anyone that loves science to build themselves a Blue Crystal microphone. I challenge you to design a any color you like crystal microphone and let me know how it sounds. I want to feel them, I want to see them, I want to hear them and... Uh, if someone managed to build a better homemade Rochelle Salt microphone than this one, I'm going to reveal how I made it. <laughs> 